Man, is it good to see a striker of this caliber make the walk to the UFC octagon tonight. Really decorated on the feet, and no surprise, he's definitely interested, Joe, in keeping this fight standing. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic tonight. Takedown defense will be a weapon of use if he can keep the fight upright. Scary for the opposition tonight. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet, because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy has one of the best abilities to take a shot that I have ever seen in all my years of commentating on fights. His chin is truly world class. for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He's at five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Money out of Tokyo, Japan, Assassin! And now we're his opponent, fighting out of the right corner! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, The Fly! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Oh, he missed that kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Able to land there with the straight left. Really good body kick. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Tags him. Out of range with that one. Goes to the body there. Slips the punch. Really missed with that right hand. Watch the shot here, Joe. Really threw everything into that uppercut that fell short. That one hurt. And there he swung with a haymaker. Just over two minutes now to go. Clean punch. They're both landing bombs on each other. Flipped him with the jab. Nice inside leg kick, very nice. Using his jab effectively here, Joe. Mixing in some body shots. Hard left. Lands the double jab. 
misses again with a right punch. He's got a beautiful leg kick. And he connects there. And a left hand behind it. Good defense there. Wow! He's got him hurt here. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, very nice. Oh, oh! Solo jam. Oh, he hurt him. He hurt him bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Second round, straight ahead. Oh, saved by the bell. That's the end of the round, and thankfully for him, it came at the right time. He got knocked down just before the horn. We'll see if his corner can keep him in the fight. Just 60 seconds with which to recover here before the next round. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And here we see it from another angle. Brittany Palmer in the building. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Wow, that left high kick came out of nowhere. Wow. Looking to avoid that left hand. Excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. How about that chin? Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Under three minutes now to go round two. Oh, that flush right hand is true, Joe. Well, he's oh, oh, man. Man. No! He's out! Big roundhouse kick KO for the Vic. Likes of Edson Barboza, a tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force, beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. Let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. Great angle here. And he's out. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night. I'm not sure. Still a few fights to...